This is a rechargeable LIR2450 battery kit. It comes with four rechargeable coin cell batteries and a charger to charge four at a time. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Now the purpose of this is to replace the batteries in our home automation system like SmartThings sensors that use 2450 coin cell size batteries. These rechargeable batteries won't have the same capacity as the non-rechargeable batteries. They're about a quarter of the capacity, which means they'll last about a quarter as long. However, you can, you can easily recharge them and you won't have to buy new batteries all the time. You can just recharge these batteries and replace them. Now the charger itself is a USB powered charger. It comes with a USB cable. It has a micro USB connector here, so kind of a ubiquitous cable. You would plug this in into a USB 5 volt outlet to charge it. And I guess the only, the only trick thing here, here is to make sure that you insert the batteries the plus and the minus, and it's inverted on one side, it's minus and plus. So um, you, make, you wanna make sure that you always check plus, and then the minus is not marked, but the plus side is marked, so you would insert this battery like this. However, on this side, you would be inserting the battery in the opposite direction with the plus facing to the right and the minus facing to the left. So a blue LED indicates no battery or, or fully charged. So we're gonna put the battery in with the plus side on the right and the negative side on the left, and then it turns to red, which indicates that it's charging. And here on the other side, we have to insert the battery the other way with the plus side on the left, minus on the right, and then it's indicating it's charging. Supposedly, if you insert a battery the wrong way, let's try that out, the light will go out. So the light goes out, indicating the battery's in the wrong way, so you insert the battery into the right way, and then it shows that it's charging. And same thing over here, if we insert it in the wrong way, light goes out, if we insert it in the right way, it shows that the battery's charging. So I'm gonna let them charge up until they turn blue. Three of the four batteries have already turned blue, indicating they're fully charged. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these batteries in my SmartThings contact sensor. Oh, so now all the batteries' lights have turned blue, indicating that it's, they're all fully charged. So I can go ahead and remove it off the charger. So here's my SmartThings multi-purpose sensor in its outdoor box, outdoor enclosure. And I'm just gonna open the lid here. And the battery's dead. Oops. This is a CR2450 battery that was in here originally, three volts. I'm replacing it with this LIR2450 rechargeable battery that's 3.7 volts, but that should be fine. Um, so we're gonna pop that in there. Oops. When I was trying to put it in, I saw a spark and the battery got really warm for a second. Hopefully I didn't do any damage to it. Because what happened is, I was trying to, the way I was trying to put it in, this side contact here, I shorted the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fresh battery since I shorted it. So be very careful when you enter the battery in here that you don't short it because the, the spacing between the positive and negative is very small right here and it's very easy to short. So slide the battery in, slide the battery in from the edge. I, just, I still saw a spark there, but it was just for a second, so um, hopefully that's okay. Let's see if I can slide the battery in a better, in a better way. If I can just slide the battery in carefully like that, then I shouldn't get a spark. There we go. All right, now the light comes on, indicating that it's powered and working. Put the cover back on. And we have the magnet right under here on the outside of the housing. And then I just uh, screw, my screw my cover back on. There was no water or anything whatsoever in here. So that's keeping it tightly sealed against the elements. Okay, now I'm gonna open and close the box and see if it works. I should get a notification on my watch. So, open, close, get a notification on the phone, and there we go. Notification on my watch. Dropbox open. So it's working again with the new battery. So this SmartThings door contact sensor, multi-purpose sensor, has been in this outdoor 
protective weatherproof box now for almost a year and it's still working great. The adhesive is still stuck firmly on there. No trouble with the box and um, it's working fine. All, I have, all I've had to do is replace the battery. So seeing how the temperature changes very rapidly outside and these smart thing sensors like to report the temperature all the time and use a moderate amount of battery, I'm going to install a solar panel on the top here with a charging circuit that charges the battery inside so that I don't have to change the battery that often and, I'm, and, and I'll be using a rechargeable LIR2450 battery.